everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me today um, today I'm not gonna do a project pan type of video I just wanted to kind of get back into doing some reviews for products that I've been trying out so I have been really into facial cleansers I like cleansers I like toners and I like face scrubs so I've been kind of you know finding different type of of these different type of these products um, at usually at the Ulta website. So I went in there and I had seen Dan Beauty, which is Jessica Murphy, which is now Jessica Brown. Brown? Brown? So I have watched a video from Jan Beauty and she mentioned the Yes to uh, Coconut Facial Cleanser and it's called the Ultra Hydrating Melting Cleanser. So this is made from virgin coconut and it has a uh, moringa seed oil. So if you don't know what moringa seed is, it's something that's really be beneficial to your health. Moringa plant is super beneficial for a lot of things, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Uh, and I have tried some Yes2 products, for example, their grapefruit facial scrub. I love that thing. So I decided to give this a try because it's coconut and I like coconut. And um, this is just my opinion. If you are disgusted by goopy stuff, by textures, or by strong smells, I am sorry, but that is why I'm doing this review so you can kind of know what it is and how it works and all of that stuff. So when I first tried this, I was under the impression that I would just apply it on my face rub it in and then wash it off or that I could use it in the shower because my white rain my holy grail white rain one dollar at the dollar tree face wash I always keep in the shower so I wanted to do the same with this I went in the shower I rubbed it all over my face and then of course it would not come off because it's oil so yeah I should have thought of that before I went and did that so I tried different ways. I tried it on dry and then again taking it off with water and that was a disaster. So I was devastated. I just spent uh, $10 on this product and I bought two of them because Ulta was having a sale. But I wanted to get another one half off. So I bought two of them and I was extremely, extremely disappointed. Well, I was determined to make it work because it doesn't have a lot of instructions. It says try the cleanser two ways. To melt away the dirt and impurities, so you squirt a towel up on your hand, um, or smooth and add water to create a creamy emulsion, or smooth that same dollop on a dry face for a super rich, decadent cleanse. Following with yes to coconut ultra hydrating overnight cream for the ultimate hydration. That to me does not tell you very much how to use a product. So I figured out I would try it dry. I put some on my hands, rubbed it together, and then rubbed it all over my face. So when you're doing that, it kind of does melt. You feel it warming up on your skin, and it actually feels really relaxing. But if you have texture issues, it might be a problem because it is like petroleum jelly consistency. However, once you start massaging it into your face, it kind of uh, liquefies just a little bit and it makes it a little bit better. So you start feeling the warmth all over your face and it's actually pretty relaxing. One thing I am gonna tell you, be careful and do not put it around your under your eyes or on your lid area because if you do have sensitivity um, to a certain fragrances or just sensitivity in general, it is going to make your eyes sting. And that happened to me. It did remove, remove my eye makeup uh, really well and no complaints but then after I found even after I washed my face with water and used the toner I was my eyes were just stinging so I decided not to put it around my eyes and just focus on my face after I was done massaging it into my face and the little had the little melting thing going on I just took a regular cotton swab a cotton round whatever you have available um, and just wipe off your makeup and it does a pretty good job of taking your makeup off um, If you use full coverage makeup, it still takes it off You might you just might want to go in and just wash your face with some mild soap or use a scrub which I Do most of the time anyway, and I know this seems like a lot of work but there are people that do do not like makeup remover wipes or do not like just foaming facial wipes in general. I mean, facial, foaming facial cleansers. 
So this might be a good option for those people. If you're one of those people, this might be a good option. I know I've tried Cetaphil before and it's not my favorite. So I would prefer this one over the other one, especially because these are cruelty free and they are paraben free. And if you are looking for that, this is your gum right here. Also, if you like coconut, this has a really, really delicious coconutty smell. Another thing I'm going to mention is while I was doing uh, my face, rubbing, rubbing the whole cleanser on my face, I do have a tendency to lick my lips. So I did lick my lips and to my surprise, this thing is pretty sweet. So I don't know if it's because of the coconut or why, it, why that is, but it does taste sweet. Not that I'm recommending that you go taste it or eat it, but I'm just saying it tastes good. So will I be repurchasing this again? I am still not too sure. Um, I checked on Ulta's website and it does have a 3.8 uh, rating. So that's not too, too good of a review, but it's kind of in the middle. Um, I think I would go on after I finish these, go on and try some other products, maybe some other creams. But at the same time, I do like it. Now, I do want to say that I know that Amber F removes her makeup with coconut oil, the solid coconut oil. So that is something I might want to try um, as well because if it's working for her, I mean, paying like $12, $15 for a tub of organic coconut oil and paying $10 for this, I think I would prefer the coconut oil. So again, recapping. Price point $9.99, you can get it at Ultra for buy one, get one half off when they have a promotion. Scent, it is really strongly scented. Of course, it smells like coconut. Taste, it tastes sweet. And ease of use, it's kind of in the middle. I would say a four or five out of like 10 stars. So it's not the easiest product or the quickest product. So if you want something quick and easy, this might not be for you unless you wear really, really light makeup and you just want to leave this stuff on your face so it can hydrate you. I have plenty of oily hydration naturally occurring in my face. So I will pass on that. But other than that, it's an okay product. As of now, nobody has taken the holy grail from my White Rain face wash. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you found this review helpful. So thank you guys so much for watching my review for the Yes to Melting Cleansing da, 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 Hydrating Makeup Taker Offer. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.